Lieutenant, how many times do you want me to tell you? Six, seven, a dozen? It's not gonna change anything. This is the police! Come out with your hands up and empty! Now! told you I was fired upon. I returned fire, I hit one of the suspects. Two others fled the van. I'm at the scene of that 459 ringer. One suspect down in close pursuit of two others. Both on um, code 20, over. Excuse me, Detective Egan. Join the other officers who are now arriving at the scene on the other end of the alley. Stay out! Hey man, what the fuck up? Come on, man! All right. Which brings us to the final suspect. As you know, we've taken statements from the other officers at the scene. What did you say? What did you hear? I'd like to hear your side of it. When I arrived on the scene, I was approached by Officer Hall, who told me they had the situation under control. What did he mean by that? When I arrived on the scene, Officer Hall told me that they had the situation under control. Now, to me, that means that they had the suspect in custody. Hey, Egan. Hey, we got your call, man. Did you get the other perp? Yeah. All right, good. What's going on here? Oh, we're just reading the suspect is right. You want a shot? Was there a struggle going on? You know, I saw a lot of things, Lieutenant. Um, there was a lot of bodies. There was a lot of movement. And there was a lot going on. Did this suspect put up a struggle? Hey, 
that's enough. Hey, that's enough. Hey, what's your problem, man? This guy's a fucking lowlife, vegan. Take a break, Kaczynski. Dead. Did you see a weapon? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey! It's no problemo. Right, bro? A little present from the Midwatch, homie. Excuse me, Detective Egan. What did you say? Yes. I saw a weapon. The man was armed. Here we go. We got two rabbits coming right up the street, Captain. Trolls with bags. Waiting for approaching vehicle. Copy. Handsome pair, aren't they? Stay alert. Station wagon license to Kelly Olivia Jones, 779. That's a copy. Now? Hit it! Get down! Get down! Get 
Watch him, watch him! Cuff him! Who are you calling a bitch? You have the right to remain silent. If you give up that right to remain silent, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak with an attorney and to have the attorney present. All units, the 211 GTA occurred approximately 10 minutes ago. Suspects were done by handguns. Information on incident. Hell, I mean, I can understand, right? I mean, a customer comes to you with a craving. Isn't that right, Teddy? <laughs> so, what's that supposed to mean? You know, times are tough. Uh, little old ladies to mug must be in uh, short supply because of the recession or something. I mean, you must be like Santa Claus. Hey, look, you guys got no complaints with me. I always come up with the snaps, always. Who do you think you're talking to here, okay? Now look, you're coming up short, homie. Hey, I'm only a player, that's all. You guys gotta get it from them high rollers. I do what I can to make my bank. Hey, you bullshit the baker, you get a bun. Bullshit me, you get none, pal. Now this says Officer Stewart. You understand that? XX-43, come in. Now if you're coming up short, Maybe you should get a job uh, moonlighting at McDonald's or something. Go. Roger, <sighs> you read me, huh? Like a fairy tale. One, two, six, that's uh, Beverly Bird. What's going on, Roger? Four, five, zero, seven, nine. Get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Tell me why I spent the last 30 minutes getting my butt chewed out by the chief? Captain, I was in the vicinity. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. We talked about this. We had a deal. You're supposed to work by the SOPs. Listen, my standard operating procedure is to apprehend the bad guy. That's exactly what I Your did. job is homicide. You let the uniforms take care of the B&Es. This is not a movie, Egan, and you're not Robocop. You got that? You want a coffee? No. You know, I'm getting a little tired of getting my ass chewed about how I do my job around here. Now, are you going to institute a command care. discipline? No. But you know, you got more stuff flying around in those files than anybody I can remember in the history of this department, and all that in the last six months. Now, your last discipline is just about cleared off your sheet. I'm going to give you a second chance. I'm giving you a partner, so I'm going to keep you under control. What? Yeah. You're going to be amazed how easy this transition is going to be. Hello, Harriet. Hello, Philip. You look great. You look like shit. This is a good one, Ed. Oh, come on, Phil. She's just what you need. A little discipline. Let me tell you something. This is just what I don't need. She's exactly the reason I left the Southwest Division, okay? Now, she's a great cop. You're a good cop, but you're a loose cannon. Pull it together. Show some respect. Otherwise, you're gonna end up in Palookaville writing parking tickets. I promise you. Now, please, please, go back to work. You're liking this, aren't you, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Charming, isn't he? Oh, he'll be okay. I'll tell you this, McAllister, keep a short leash on him. He bites anybody, it's your butt. Oh, that was some basket catch last night. Me and Willie Mays. All right, it looks like we're going to be together for a little while. Or at least until I can figure something out. Why don't you apply for another transfer? You're really good at running away. I don't like this. You don't like this. Let me tell you something. I don't like partners, and I'm, I, I don't, I'm not so sure how I feel about you. No, I think you don't like the competition. You're afraid I'm going to set the standards too high for you. Give me a break. Give you a break, huh? Hey, listen, 
I'm not gonna feel bad about something that went down like 80 years ago either, all right? Oh, what, you're not over that yet? What does that mean? It means it's history. No, wait a minute, what, what does that mean? It's over with. So what, you got a boyfriend? address here. What do you got here? That's steward in there, man. Somebody walked in and dropped Charlie Stewart over his breakfast. This is what I got to look forward to. I don't know if it'll be that good, Egan. Anybody check for vitals? What vitals? Three gunshot wounds to the chest? That's as dead as it gets. He gets up without any help, and you'd be the last one out of the room, Phil. Believe me. Don't need the evidence. Probably. Jesus Christ. What do you got? Tiger's lost. <laughs> Tiger's lost. That's a good one, Egan. You, uh, through, uh, feeling up the place, Egan, and, uh, fucking up another crime scene? What are you doing here, Bobby? I thought you'd be down at the morgue sniffing dead crotch. Jealousy will get you nowhere. It's all yours. Okay, as soon as Bobby and his boys get finished, you uh, seal the place up, all right? Gotcha. Let's go, McAllister. Should I call a taxi for myself? Charles Beacon Stewart, born Toledo, Ohio, 1946, joined the force in 1966. Did a couple of job acquittals for on-the-job shootings. Did some suspension time for excessive force charge last year. Oh, yeah, I got that right here. I remember that. Take a look at that. Okay, where's my check last? I gotta go take a piss. Did you hear what I was telling you? Well, hurry back. I don't want to be here till midnight. Save on ammo and loop the car at the same time. <laughs> right, partner? What the hell is this problem? 
Hey, I hear you got the Stewart case. You make anything yet? No. Too bad. It's making a lot of people nervous around here. He was a prick. You a prick, Aggie? But she sure did inspire it! <laughs> the manners of a gentleman, Franklin. You ought to give it back before he comes looking for them. Fuck you, punk! I got more time in the toilet you got in this job! Maybe it's about time somebody wiped your ass. But fuck your problem! Shit! All right, new Pollock invention! The door was open. Come on in. I've been sitting at my desk, what, about uh, three and a half hours now? And I'm thinking to myself, either this guy is taking the longest piss in history or some asshole's just helping me with some paperwork. <laughs> you better have a drink. When are you going to start taking responsibility for yourself? You're not going to lay the responsibility lecture on me tonight, are you? No, I'm not going to be falling around, blowing your nose, and wiping your ass for you, Egan. I'll be a first, won't I? Oh, what does that mean, huh? I'll tell you exactly what that means. That means that for three years, that's all you did, was make sure that I was a good little cop, that I went to all the right places and said the right things with the right people and all that kind of bullshit. Did you ever stop to think for a second that maybe, maybe I was happy just being on the street, being a regular cop, doing my thing? That maybe I wasn't the guy that, to go around fulfilling your ambitions? My ambitions? You self-centered, egotistical bastard. All I did was care about you. Oh, come on. No, I thought we had a commitment. Listen, we did have a commitment. It's not my fault that you can't tell me when something's bothering you. I mean, it's not my fault you can't express yourself. Beverly! Come on! 
wood is this? You... <laughs> I call this freaking out. What the fuck? No. Baby! Baby. No. Well, hey, you guys remember when Garvey told the model he thought he had to crab? Garvey's one of the dumbest pricks God ever created. I told him to go home and hold a mirror on his ass. That way, his crab would do ass. No, no, no. You see this shit? Hey, hey, here you go. A dollar sixty-nine a bottle for this fucking toilet. I'm going to cleanse myself. Room juice. Hey, old baby. Oh, well, look. How you be? How you doing? Been eight hours without a drink. Where the fuck you been? Hey, look who's here, man. Yeah, where the fuck I been? Yeah, where the fuck, where the fuck, fuck been? I been? Where the fuck you been? That's the question. Yeah, yeah where the fuck you been? I sent you 1087 over an hour ago, man. That's right. I've been up to my ass in paperwork. Paperwork? These fucks. Cause they think we make a living being cops. <laughs> we gotta steal that to make a living. We do. <laughs> I guess we do, man. <laughs> You're doing good, baby. Yeah. Hey, tomorrow, don't spend it all in one place. I thought you guys might like to know that your buddy Franklin's dead. What the fuck you talking about, Franklin dead? Now, someone bashed your skull in. What? I just heard it on the radio. Hey, what's going on here? I mean, first Stuart and now Franklin. Jesus, man, maybe somebody don't like these fucking shakedowns. That's bullshit. You don't kill cops because you don't like the price of doing business. Did you learn that in the academy? Hey, fuck you, Hey, come on, relax. Hey. This guy's a fucking hey, asshole. Hey, you guys take a quaalude. Fuck him. Take a quaalude or something, will ya? I gotta get back on patrol. Lose money here. We can't go anywhere. What? We got business to talk about. What business? Teddy B. He's on the street telling everybody he's got cops in his pocket that can buy anything he wants. And somebody's got to talk to that fuck. What good is that going to do? Hell, man, I don't know. Somebody needs to thump that junk. You know what kind of fucking heat that's going to bring down? You got a problem with that, man? Look, I don't got a problem with anything. First of all, who the fuck died and made this asshole boss? Your daddy did, you asshole. Fuck you, hey, 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 the hey, hey. Come on, you fuck. Come on, you want a piece of me? Come on. Hey. Come on, you want a piece of me? Come on. Hey. Come on, you fuck. You motherfuckers be cool. We're supposed to be family here. All right. All right. All I'm saying, all I'm fucking saying, is that Teddy B is fucking with my livelihood. Now, somebody's got to do Teddy B, that's all I'm saying. And I'm fucking saying it's you. That's what the fuck I'm saying. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Hall? You want me to take care of him? Works for me. You want me to take care of Teddy B? Yeah, that's what I want. It's a done deal. You watch your ass. <laughs> Is this fucking guy kidding me? Watch my ass. Take a fucking walk. Watch my ass. Come on, let's go to work. Fuck, I don't trust this fucking guy. I'm telling you right now. I cannot trust this motherfucking guy as far as I can throw. Let's go to my city. Watch my ass. Hey, I want you to watch my ass. You got a big fucking mouth and a lot of people don't like you. I didn't do Shut nothing. Shut the fuck up! I want you to find a place to hide your black ass. And don't you come out until I come and get you. You got that? I can't do that. I got business to take care of. If you don't, you're a dead man. Because I'll kill you myself. You got it? Yeah. What? I said, yeah, I got it.
10 grand worth of designer suits hanging in his closet. Great. I can bury him in one. Look, why don't you go outside and canvas the rest of the building, okay? I'll wrap it up in here and meet you back at the car. Yeah, go on. Owner, a red Corvette. Blonde, Beverly Benson. Possible booking for solicitation. We have an address over in Hollywood, 1620 not far. Thanks, over. What do you got? Well, I talked to the landlady, and she said that there was a red Corvette blocking a tenant space. So when the tow truck got here, the owner of the Corvette came out and moved it and then went back up into those apartments. She thinks it was Franklin's. You follow? That would explain these. Ooh, these are nice. <laughs> Wait a second here. I gotta ask you a question. Now, are we cross-dressing these days, Are you Phil? kidding me? Have you ever seen me in a tube top? It's good stuff. I bet. Mm. You sit here, 316? Yeah. Police department, open up. I'll call for backup. Go around back. Okay. Procedure was fine. Fuck your procedure. You want to buy one on procedure five, but you don't do it around me. Let's go, you piece of shit. You know, I can't afford to be afraid that something might happen. <laughs> I didn't know you cared. Hey, this is bullshit. <laughs> Fucking home. Oh, fuck you, man. Yeah. Fuck you, you motherfucker. <laughs> listen, listen, man. Listen. Look, I got some heavy brain coming hey, shut here. the oh. fuck up. Look, I mean it, man. I can get you all the money you need, man. Let's give you a chance to talk to girls, man. They become sharp. Look, I mean it. I mean it. Come on, man. You can, you, you can understand. Look, I always come up with it, man. You know that, huh? Come on. Hey, Teddy B. Looky here. You know what that is, Steady B? You, you crazy, Krasinski. That ain't my man. Tell him it don't belong to me, man. Tell him it don't belong to me. Come on, Hulk. You, you know what that me. is, don't you? I, 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 I ain't never seen that thing, man. That's Come on, fucking man. Rig. Come on, man. Tell him it don't belong to me, man. Hey, Hulk. Why don't you show Teddy the gift we got? Mm, look at that, Teddy. It looks like a banquet. It's all oh, yours. God, what I ever do, you guys, man? Look at that, Teddy. I'm going to make you a nice home-cooked meal. I haven't done that to you guys, man. You guys are supposed to be cops, man. What are y'all doing to me, man? I ain't done nothing to you guys. <laughs> don't do this. Teddy, this stuff is so fucking pure. Talk to the hall, man. You don't even have to cook it up, man. You see how pure that is, Teddy? Come on out. Come out, come out wherever you are. Why y'all do this shit? Yeah, Teddy. 
It's 10 cc's of pure happiness. That's too much, man. That's too much. I want you to take this, and I want you to fucking run it, man. That's too much, man. Now I can either blow your motherfucking brains out, or you can take this right here and run it. Then you get a nice warm glow, you know? You fall asleep, when you wake up, you'll be in hell. And when you see me down here, you won't even be mad at me. Take it! I want you to run it. Right here, 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 I'm filing charges of police brutality. Just shut the fuck up. I got your PO on the way down here, Terrence. Looks like you owe a dime in Nevada. That means you're gonna be about 36 when you get out. Now, if you help me out, I might be able to help you out. You ain't gonna be able to help shit, man. My PO's a prick. He'll make sure I do the whole dime anyway. He ain't buying no California favors, so fuck him. Fuck you, too. You don't know nothing, do you, pal? We make interstate fugitive deals all the time. All you gotta do is tell us where Beverly is. We'll make sure your P.O. knows that you cooperated with us. Especially fuck you. It's a fucking cop killer? You killed Officer Franklin, scumbag? What, you guys whacked out of your fucking mind? I didn't kill any cop. Come here, you use this on these officers? Oh, well, what's this? It's a fucking BB gun, asshole? I am not a cop killer. What is this, huh? I tried to help you out, Terrence. You shot at these officers with this? No. Huh? No. You didn't shoot at these officers? Who shot at them, Santa Claus? We won't have to worry about Teddy Scumbag no more. Uh, fucking Hall and Kaczynski took you? care of it for you. How old are you? You're 26. Hey, would you relax, man? Now, those fucking guys are crazy. You know that. Now, they couldn't wait for you because they like it too much. For me, I just like the money. What do you got? Some punk parole violator. Oh, parole violator? Yeah, ex-boyfriend thought we were coming after him. What about the girl? Uh, that scumbag would have given her up in a second. I don't think he's seen her for at least 24 hours. So why is she hiding? Maybe she swings at me back. Thank you. Or she saw who did. Could be. Egan, is that what I smell running down your leg, boy? You just gonna have to trust me on this, Bill. Can I count on you to go through with this investigation? Bill!
Will that be all? Uh, that's it, thanks. <laughs> so you think Benson killed Franklin? Well... I don't know, you know, it's hard for me to believe the woman's gonna go in there and bash a guy's brains all over the floor, you know? It's a little messy. His wife might disagree with that. What's wrong with you? What are you talking about? Well, something's bothering you. Nothing's bothering me. I'm sitting here, I'm eating, I'm eating a sandwich. I'm having a beer. Nothing's bothering me. Everything's fine. You know, I mean, I know I act like an idiot sometimes. Yeah, you do. I know. I want to apologize for that. That's scotch. You should know your limit, right? I really don't want to get into it. I don't want it to turn ugly, you know? If you'd have just told me what you wanted, maybe we... I don't know, maybe things would have been different. You never listened. I mean, maybe I should have taken taken an ad out on the sports page, you know? Those, in those little box score sections, like the Tigers lost in this column over here. Harriet wants this gentle, open, honest relationship over in the other column. I think you're going. I'm gonna walk you up the stairs. We'll move over Prince Charming. <laughs> oh. One drink, and then you go. thing with Stuart and Franklin. What do you think? We okay with that? Or just coincidence? A coincidence? Yeah. You know, and this, this whole thing with Egan, it's all fucked up. Look, I told you right from the beginning, I don't trust this prick. No 
fucking weasel and stuff. All I'm saying is maybe we better watch our asses, okay? We've been taken for a long time. Anybody fucks with me, I give him this. <laughs> I give him this right in the fucking ass. Everybody takes, Aussie. Everybody. The judges, the politicians, the stockbrokers. Fuck any cop who doesn't take. Why do you think I'm still on the street after 17 years? Why do you think I throw collars to these fucking rookies? Because I gotta make a living. I gotta stay in the street. Because I'm sick and I'm tired of walking into courtrooms and watching these assholes walk. Because everybody walks. Rapists, pedophiles, murderers. <laughs> Even me and you, Halsey. You see, that's the beauty of the system. It's the American way. So I'm not sorry for who I am or what the fuck I've done. I'm just sorry that my money's in a box and I can't fucking spend it. Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. Charlie! Charlie. Here's to you, Charlie. And here's to your ponytail. <laughs> Yeah, what's up? What? Here you go, detective. She likes that overtime, Look at that back here. Jesus. Looks like Howell and Kaczynski are off the streets, huh? You know, Red, you talk too much. They found Kaczynski first. Some drunk comes out of the bar, he trips over. After I got here, I noticed Billy's car. You're the first officer on the scene? Yeah. Where'd you disappear to? Do me a favor. Go inside the bar and get some details from the people, all right? You got it. Well, it looks like the same M.O. to me. Better go jump on the horn and get him a loof down here right away. You got it. Hey. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm all right. You just come to me and ask me, I can tell her. Yeah. Okay. Full door shut. You can find the answer on the computer. Okay, so how about Got a better assistant? idea, Sherlock? Just trying to investigate a procedure. That thing's a joke. If I come up with some. 500 pound Buddy Holly impersonator. Well, for your information, wise guy, I'm looking for a common denominator, not Godzilla with a guitar. Oh, before you get to your coffee and donuts, why don't you take a look at these?
So what? So, at one time or another, all those guys were under IA investigations. But who the hell hasn't been around here? I think you guys had bad records before they even got out of the academy. Yeah, but those guys are coming up dead, Egan. You looking for a conspiracy around here? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna go do it the old-fashioned way and hit the streets. How far? I will. Yeah, two coffees, huh? Okay. Uh, you want something to eat? Donut? No, I'll just have a coffee. Just a coffee. Want to sit down? What a guy. Guess you guys work around here, huh? If you guys need anything else, just yell. If I had a swing like that, I'd put it in my backyard. Where's your asshole partner? I thought it was best to keep you two apart for a while. You didn't make him a very happy man the other day. So learn to keep his mouth shut. You becoming a loose cannon on me, Egan? Is that what I have to worry about? <laughs> Just remember, you came to me six months ago and volunteered for this. You know, I don't need to put my short hairs on the line and come and deal with a cheesehead like Ridley. Oh, is that what you think this is all about? We're just a bunch of rats picking on your fellow officers. Let's get one thing straight. The bad guys work on both sides of the street. But a good cop always finds a way to get the job done. Whatever it takes. Yeah. That's what my old man used to say until he bought a bullet. You know, I got a $50 moth-eaten flag sitting in my closet. That's all the mayor gave my mother before she died of a broken heart. Hey, listen. No, 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 you listen. Because I like being a cop. I like getting a paycheck for catching the bad guys and kicking down doors. See, somewhere along the line, we built this wall. I haven't quite figured it out yet. But you see, stop feeling things. You don't care about anything anymore. So what do you care about? Is that what you brought me down here for? To ask me what I fucking care about? No. Some of the cops you've been investigating are, uh, ending up dead. You got any theories on that? No. Do you? I mean, for all you know, I could be doing these guys. Yeah, I didn't say that, did I? <laughs> I'm talking about working with us as a team. Nothing's ever a perfect. And yes, sometimes people do get hurt. But we always watch out for our own. Yeah, I heard that before. Do me a favor. Don't do me any favors, all right? I'll watch my own cheeks. You got balls, Egan. Just don't be stupid. That's what the ladies like about me. All balls, no brains. I tell you, all we did was piss him off. The son of a bitch is a cop killer, and I'm gonna prove it.
Diamond 83 to HQ. Yeah, I got a code six, possible 459 near the corner of Jason 27. Code four. 10 4. We'll send you back up. Shots the chest, his body armor saved his ass. You okay, Becker? It hurts like hell when I breathe. Thank God I'm breathing. You're gonna be fine. Where's Zika? I don't know. I gotta see him now. Uh, yeah, this is Harriet. Is this Ed? Uh, yeah, I'm over here at Phil's house. Could you see if he's there? Okay, I'll wait. Freaking crazy, McAllister. You expect me to buy this Meshuggah theory that Egan's our perp? Well, I don't like it any more than you do, Captain. 
But I saw those files, and I know that he has motive and opportunity. You don't have a single shred of sufficient conclusive evidence here. Where, where are these scrapbooks and files you keep talking about? You got nothing to substantiate this theory. You know that I can't take those files, Captain, not without a search warrant. So give me a motive. Motive, Egan's father was killed under cloudy circumstances. I knew his father. He was my partner. He was a good cop. Yeah, well, some of those cops who we worked with are coming up victims. And at that time, they were under IA investigation as, as possible suspects. Nothing was found to substantiate, so no further action was taken. You're talking about some very good cops here. I mean, unable to defend themselves. Well, I think that remains to be seen. Egan was 10 years old when his father died. So? So. So what are you trying to tell me? What I'm trying to tell you is maybe Egan held a grudge against these cops all these years. He now has a perfect opportunity to take out his revenge. Well, that's... It's very interesting, but it's somehow a little far-fetched for me. Suppose you hit the streets. Find me something I can swallow better, huh? There's one more thing. Um, I think our suspect, Benson, is a witness. Really? Yeah. She's hiding because she's afraid. I'm going to go find her before we find her in a dumpster. Um... I really hope that I'm wrong about this. message. Somebody tried to kill me, Phil. I'm a little jumpy. Comes with the territory. Not this, it don't. You don't look so good, man. You want me to take you back? No. I'm gonna lay low to this thing is cleared up. Did you call anybody else? There is nobody else. I mean, who can I trust? Somebody's doing the whole damn team, man. There's always been a mid-watch, Phil. Long before you came around. Yeah, and everybody had an agenda. Some of the guys were tired of the useless system we were bucking. I mean, you'd run a hair bag in, he'd be back out on the streets the next day. And some of the guys were just crooks with badges, leaning on drug dealers, selling files and reports to attorneys and scumbag, gun dealing and shit like that. Whatever happened to doing your job? to protect and serve. What about it? We take care of our own out there on the streets, Phil. We're all alone. Now somebody's doing the mid-watch. I mean, 20 years and nothing. And now this. Yeah, well, you better cover your ass. Because you in it now. I always do, George. Phil. Phil. Help me. Look. There's a diary. It's got everything we ever did and who we paid kickbacks to to make sure our asses were covered. 
Anything happens to me, you know what to do. Can I trust you? And I'm Harriet. Well, I just retired. What can I get you? Beverly, let's go. Oh, shit. Mm hmm. Am I under arrest? Depends. Are you taking me? Too many questions to her. Come on. You've got your gun and your badge in the system behind you. I've got my ass and what I know about the streets. I don't need any trouble. I don't give a shit about your ass or my system. I'm looking for a cop killer. Are you a cop killer, Beverly? What, are you crazy? I don't know anything. Now, I know Cinderella didn't leave those pumps behind. Yeah, well, this wasn't any fucking ball. And there was no Prince Charming. When I left, he was still alive. Bullshit. You saw it go down, didn't you? You know who did it. I didn't see anything. I don't know anything. I don't want to talk to you or any other cop, all right? Just leave me the fuck alone. Take a good look at this man. Don't call the police. Listen to me. You don't have to do that. Maybe I can clear this whole thing up. You see, I... I used to own your... I used to live in your house. Pino and I, we lived there for many years. Well, what happened? Why did you move? Well, it, it wasn't my hard choice. Now my business began to go downhill and the bank foreclosed on me. And well, we had to move here. Things haven't been the same since we moved here. Pino, I want to go back to the house. Who is it? I want to go back to the house. was held down a goddamn crazy out there. How'd it go down? Three shots, back of the head.
my God, the infamous camping trip. Hey, you got any pictures of us trying to pull cactus needles out of your butt? I gotta go, all right? Hey, Jimmy, you see Maloof? I think he left. Squad room. Can I speak to Detective McAllister, please? Uh, she's not here right now. Can I take a message for her? This is Beverly Benson. I'm at the Blackstone Hotel. Could you please tell her I need to speak with her? Okay, I'll make sure she gets it. Benson? Beverly Benson? Miss Benson? Beverly Benson?
Hello? Somebody just tried to get me. Beverly, where are you? Just listen to me. Stay where you are and don't move until I get there. Miss Benson, I'm a police officer. I just want to talk to you. What are you doing here? Benson couldn't identify you. What are you talking about? I came here to talk to her. I just wanted to protect her. From who? You? From me? Yeah. Harry, what's the matter? Are you all right? Does cop killer ring a bell to you? What, you think I'm doing these cops? Harry, what's the matter? Freeze it, Egan. I got it, Captain. Ah, great. I see. All right. Toss that gun over in the corner very slowly. Do it. Easy. I want the diary. I know you have it. You were the last one to see Becker alive before I whacked him. You killed Becker. Yeah, he killed Becker. He killed Aggie, he killed Stewart, he killed Franklin, he killed the whole crew. Don't you know I'm looking forward to a career in politics when I retire? Can't take any risks. My past will jump up and bite me on the ass. I hope you understand that better than your old man did. Don't. Or is it going to be like father, like son? Like, give me the fucking diary. And then what, uh, we, you expect us to just walk out of here, right? Why not? Yeah, I don't think so. The report's going to read there's a shootout. You and I got killed and the murder was solved. Case closed. <laughs> Couldn't happen better. I'm really sorry, Phil. I told you, Harriet, you never listened. I'm really sorry. Get over there.
have to be this way, Phil. You could be a very rich man. Or dead. All you have to do is get out of my way. Not today, Captain. You want to pass, you got to come through me. You're not being reasonable. Like father, like son, you bastard. You're a fucking rat. You know that? Just like your old man. He cried like an old woman, you know? Just before I put the bullet in his head. He was on his knees, shaking in his pants. He begged me, please, he said. Please, I got a wife and I got a kid. I got a kid. That's all he kept saying. So I shut him up. Let's go home. I like that.